how to appear 20% less effective, how to go into an interview and reduce your chances of getting that job by 10%. Gentlemen, what I'm talking about here is the negative effects of yellow teeth. I've talked about this before, the correlation between yellow teeth and attraction levels, between perceptions of health. A lot of guys though resist whitening their teeth and I get it because whitening your teeth can hurt. I have sensitive teeth and I've dealt with the pain issues. In today's video, I've got five tips on how to eliminate the pain when you're whitening your teeth so that you can smile with confidence. So, a couple things that you need to know before we get into this. Number one, we're not going for perfectly white, brilliant teeth. If you think that your teeth need to match the white of a sheet of paper, you're wrong. Let me pull up a quick chart right here. Look at the range of teeth colors. Now, on the far end is that yellow, which I was talking about. You don't want that, but you also have to understand that that brilliant, perfect white is almost unattainable for most people. Instead, what you want to do is see shades of improvement when you go through a whitening treatment. You One single treatment can often you know, improve two to three, sometimes up to seven shades and that's what you're looking to do is get closer to the white. Next up, number two that you need to understand is why does whitening sometimes hurt? Let's go ahead and bring up a chart of a tooth. Let's look at the different parts of teeth. You've got the outside, you've got the enamel. This is a porous, tough, protective area of your teeth. Uh, initially, when you're younger, it's going to be less porous, it's going to be more white, but as you age, it becomes more porous and we start to have pieces of food and everything that gets stuck in there. We have bacteria buildup. Now, with the whitening solution, what it's going to do is it's going to enter that enamel and it's going to sometimes make its way into past the enamel. There, you're going to get into the dentin and then past the dentin is the nerve. This is what causes the pain. So, now that you understand those two points, let's get into the five tips on how to whiten your teeth without pain. Tip number one, pay attention to the whitening solution. This is going to be the gel that goes on your teeth, actually penetrates the enamel and does all the work. Guys, this is incredibly important and we're all different. Some people are going to be sensitive to one thing, other people are going to be sensitive to another. You're going to need to know your body. You can try various types out there, but in general, you're going to find two camps. We've got the peroxides, we've got the peroxide freeze. Now, peroxide's been around for a long time. Many people swear by it. It is very effective and it gets the job done. It's also going to be oftentimes very inexpensive. The issue with peroxides is that they are strong and that for some people, they're very sensitive to it. It can cause pain me included. So, I'm in the peroxide free camp and what basically I go off and I'm going to grab a package. I'm going to look immediately. Is it peroxide free? Yes, in this case it is. Another thing I look for is for sensitive teeth. You want to look for those two things out there if you've got sensitive teeth. I find that I can go through multiple treatments with a peroxide free, no pain. Peroxide after one to two treatments, I start to have pain. Now, it depends on what you're looking for, what you're able to find, what works for your particular body type. Now, you may have noticed White with Style guys, they are the paid sponsor of today's video. I'm going to link to them down in the description. Use that discount code I'm putting down there because you go to the dentist, we're talking three to five hundred dollars for a whitening treatment. With that discount code, you can do it at home for a fraction of the cost, guys. It's an awesome discount code. I've worked with this company for well over a year. I've talked about them before. All the samples, all the little deep things I have here actually were sent to me by them. Good company. Go check them out. Tip number two, you want personal molds for your teeth whenever they're applying the solution. You don't want one size fits all and you're going to find that a lot of them are out there because they're convenient. They can sell you these packages in which you just put a tooth mold on your teeth and throw it on there. The issue with this is it's not made specifically for your teeth, so it's going to have some of that solution go on your gums. Gentlemen, that's when a lot of the pain happens. So, what I like, this one right here, it is molded to my teeth and I can put the solution right in on each of the teeth, right in there and then I can put it right in there, fits on each tooth and I don't have to worry about that solution going everywhere. That is key and it's something I look for. Tip number three, don't use too much of the whitening solution. So, when you've got something like this, yeah, you're maybe thinking, okay, if I put double the amount that they recommend in here, it'll go twice as fast. It doesn't work that way, gentlemen. If they clearly tell you on the instructions how much to put in there, then don't overdo it. It's not going to make things happen faster. 
Tip number four to reduce pain, space out your treatments. So instead of having a high concentration treatment one time that, yeah, may sound convenient, but that could be very painful. Instead, maybe you want to have four treatments over four weeks and each time it's going to be about 25%, 25%, 25% of what that other one would have been. Yes, it takes longer, but if you've got sensitive teeth, I find that this is going to be a much better route. Again, this is something you're going to have to judge on your own, but I find with me with sensitive teeth, with uh, this particular solution I have with White with Style, and I'll link to the exact one I had down in the description, but this one right here, I found that I could do this three to four days in a row. I had no issue with it, but they do recommend, you know, if you have sensitive teeth, look to have a week between uh, each of the treatments. Tip number five, schedule your whitening treatments going forward so you maintain the level that you want. So, anyone that's ever had to maintain something versus starting at scratch, which one's easier? Maintaining something, keeping it at a certain level. If you've got to start from scratch, let's say you don't whiten your teeth for a year. You get up to that level you want to be and then you forget about it and then a year later, you look in the mirror and you realize, oh man, I got those yellow teeth again. Wouldn't it have been a lot easier if every month you would set up a reminder just to remind you, hey, just do this once a month and you're able to keep it at the level you're at versus having to start from scratch. Bonus point, gentlemen, photocatalyst. So, if you go in to get a teeth whitening treatment, you may hear things like lasers, you may hear blue lights. What are they talking about? So, let's break down the word. Photo, light, catalyst, something that causes a reaction. That is the purpose of a blue light, of a laser, whenever they're using it in to whiten your teeth, is that they're using this light to react with the gel so the gel does its job better. Now, I know in this video, I didn't talk about whitening toothpastes. I didn't talk about whitening mouthwashes. I didn't talk about whitening gum. The reason being is those are more maintenance. Yeah, you can maybe improve one to two shades over the period of a month, but when I'm talking about teeth whitening, we're talking about seven shades of improvement in a single treatment. So, hence why I was talking about those. Now, when it comes to brushing your teeth, I do think that adding a third time right after lunch, if you were to add that into your regular brushing routine, I'm assuming you're brushing in the morning, you're brushing right before you go to bed. Bed, but that right there using a whitening toothpaste can also kind of help maintain because it's usually going to be in the mornings when you're drinking coffee, uh, when you're ever having something that's going to stain your teeth, you've already had two meals. That At that point, you want to basically get that off. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know, what did you think of this video? Did I miss anything? Would you have added anything to this video to make it better? Gentlemen, go check out White With Smile. Great company. I'm proud to support them. For over a year, I've been using their whitening products and that discount is real. That's a huge discount. It's so much cheaper than going to your dentist. I've used their products. Great success. And again, I've got sensitive teeth and so I'm proud to bring them to you with that discount and with something that I've used myself. Gentlemen, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.